Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about something added to the game about two years ago that is one of the best daily drip clicker functions of the game and that is Syndicate XP. We're going to be talking about what I think is fantastic about Syndicate XP. We're going to talk about how to get it, where to get it, how to accelerate your progression within this loop. And I'm also going to show you a calculator created by the one, the only Silvers, my right hand man on my streams, uh, about how to calculate how far you are from your next Syndicate level and how important that can be for your game. So stay tuned while we have a look at this and we dive a deep dive into the green blooded people that are syndicate let's have a look Right, where to start? So Syndicate basically is a faction. So Syndicate is a faction dissimilar to the standard faction. So obviously we have our, click on our factions tab. Obviously you can see we've got eight in there now, all the, the three traditional ones and then the others. This works similar to a faction whereby you gain in essence reputation so syndicate experience you gain that and then you accumulate in a tree you access the syndicate using the syndicate button at the top here you can see that i am currently syndicate level 33 and what this screen shows is it shows us what your current buffs are but it also shows you how far away from your um next level and then obviously it shows you where your claims are as well so this is your free daily drip of syndicate xp now this will vary depending on your syndicate level i currently get 750 a day from this this can be improved with primes which again we're going to talk about all the different sourcing methods for syndicate as you go along now right back from the start if we go back to syndicate level one because what happens is is you start to get it once you first unlock syndicate once you first get into the game you then get syndicate xp so syndicate xp you get a daily drip then once you get through to like level one you get resource protection resource production and you start getting grush shards so grush being this little green fella here and grush is one of the best stats officers in the game so if we look at officers and we sort mine by strength we will see that grush is actually my most powerful officer currently at rank 5 level 30 so he is maxed he is coming in at 712,000 officer points he's my best stat officer in the game beating even the likes of 5 of 11 who's only I say only who is 688,000 obviously strange Wales pike's quite high up there 6 of 11 I mean he's the best he's the best he's the best stat officer in the game very very close to some of the new borg who are actually better than some of the old borg so no, absolutely incredible one of the best stat officers in the game and he also has great abilities so he has protected cargo which can be boosted by synergy with one other officer which we'll talk about in a second because he's only got one other person in his synergy group for now at time of recording in march of 2024 and then he has this ability which is massively helpful increasing the warp range of the ship by 15 percent so not by a flat amount this is by a percentage of what your warp range is and this is massively helpful for getting to those deeper armadas or even deeper hostiles and things like that or just searching around doing missions etc etc it can have a massive impact so a really good officer really well-rounded fantastic stats and great abilities and the sourcing for Grush is outstanding. Now, not only did Grush actually need a record low level of shards, so we go back to strength here, he actually didn't need that many shards in order to be able to max him. So I think that was fantastic. But the sourcing for those shards are all within Syndicate. The only way to get him is by progressing through your Syndicate tree, and you will see, if we go back to some of the earlier levels, look, we're getting 40 Grush shards, we're getting 50 Grush shards, 60 Grush shards, 65 Grush shards, do you know what I mean? So 100 Grush shards. And if you have already got him maxed, then you will be able to um, obviously get transporter patterns for these big unlocks. But also, as part of this, you also get it as part of your daily drip. So this claim bundle, which mine is due in 1 hour 45 minutes, whilst you are at the lower levels you then start to get one grush shard every single day so you're making progress towards maxing this officer from as soon as you start getting to the required syndicate level to start getting grush which is absolutely fantastic one of the best sourcing paths in the game most people that have been playing the game for a couple of years will probably have grush at least the max number of shards they may not have the independent credits uh, or officer xp to be able to max him but they will probably be somewhere near max shards after not too long in the game now other things that i want to talk about so things like officer attack officer defense officer health 
So these particular bonuses, these stack with each other. So these stack with each other. So what I mean is so if you've got 20% officer attack here, and if we go find another one a little bit further down, 25% officer attack, this is added on to the 20, but they don't all work like that. So for example, if you look, so plus 70% is like an additional research. If you see something like this, where it says bonus daily, re daily rewards, four extra resources, so your payouts of past deal, Tritanium, Delithium, Sigma resources if you are in G6, within your daily goals, so when you complete your dailies and you get those resources, it's multiplied by 4x. But if we go find the next version of this, here we go, bonus daily goal rewards. This now goes to 5x. So this is not 4x and then 5x of the 4x, taking it massive, massive. It replaces the 4x with the 5x. So lots of people are curious about how those works. So if it's adding on a percentage, if it's adding on a percentage, they basically add one into each other. If it adds a multiplier, or like this one here, plus one, obviously that does just add one. And while we're all talking about this plus one, this is the other way for you to free to play source officer presets. Now these are not the most liked feature in the game because of the little bugs and glitches and things that are in there but officer presets are really really helpful especially for things like solo armadas and stuff like that and if you want to see a video about what i use my presets for please drop it down in the comments more than happy to show that off with you so some of the other bonuses you get in here hull health hhp hull health points shield hit points so you're getting boosts to that as well obviously we've talked about the officer shards which are really big this is really big bonus daily rewards uh, for faction this time so 1.75 percent increase in both um, faction credits that you get from your dailies and also reputation so helping you get towards those next locks faster now this one is one of my favorites bonus loyalty chest rewards for crystal gas and ore so loyalty chest rewards these are your 7 and 30 day chests that you will find in your gift section and again remember this is a multiplier it's not a percentage so that when you see the next level of this it will replace this level and not change it okay it'll replace this level but not um add to it sorry it'll replace it so like these g5 like g4 g3 you know i mean <laughs> it's a big jump I mean, you're doubling them even when you get to this lowly level of syndicate. But as you start to progress through, these rewards get even bigger. So up here, we're now up to, if we take G3, G4, for example, we're now at 3x once we get to this level. Obviously, there's another one then not too far away. We then get to 4x when we get to this level, etc., etc. So I'm now up at level 33. Um, and syndicate level 33 unlocks another buff. It actually makes your generators useful once you get past syndicate 30. So I'm at 33, so 32, 31. 30 so syndicate level 30 gives you this bonus here so whole health points added to pass deal generator a and b so what that means is every time you un upgrade pass deal generators a and b which are these first two at the top here you actually get an improvement in your whole health and you can see that when you actually look at the screen so i'm getting a 335 percent hull boost from pass deal generator a but i'm also getting that for b and they are additive so that's not just a one-off so i'm getting in essence 770 percent hull bonus for those two generators uh, having them both at 59 the dilithium sorry the, the tritanium ones have a booster shield exactly the same sort of numbers but again works on both and then dilithium is once you get to syndicate level 35 you can then boost your damage output so you can see i'm not at 35 yet so my damage is red because that's not yet unlocked for me so there are some fantastic bonuses within syndicate but let's talk about how you get syndicate because trying to get it at the daily drip which starts off at about 250 and then ends up like with me at 750 you can actually look on stfc.space which i'm going to pull up now and see some of the sheer numbers give me one second so on stfc.space you will actually see there is actually a syndicate button and the syndicate section shows you now these are not um these are cumulative totals, which means you need a total of 2,500 Syndicate XP to be able to get to level 2. You don't need an additional 6,000. You need to get from 2,500 to 6,000. So this is really good because then we can look down and we can go down to, for example, where I am at level 33. Let me find it. Level 33 there. You can see I'm currently at 3.72 million Syndicate XP. Plus, obviously, the change that I've got towards getting towards level 34. And obviously, if you was trying to do that with just your daily drip of 250, 300, even 750 at my level, it's never going to happen. I mean, it's just going to take so, so long for you to get there. But they have added other sources and they're continuing to add sources even up to the last couple of months for you to increase your Syndicate XP output. 
So how else can you get it? One of the big sources is through the Mantis. Now, the Mantis opens at Shipyard 33. So if we pop over there, look, here we go. Shipyard 33 is when you can unlock the Mantis. And every time you tier the Mantis, you will also get an increased bundle within your Mantis refinery to actually get Syndicate XP. So in your Mantis refinery, you can see here, I have got a Syndicate XP claim. So my Mantis is currently tier 11. And if I double pull this chest, I'm getting 3,300 Syndicate XP per chest. So 6,600 per day just from the Mantis. Now the Mantis grind doesn't offer a great deal else. Obviously, you can upgrade the Mantis from it. You get a few officer shards. It's fantastic sourcing for the Strange New Worlds officers. But again, we're not going into that right now. But we're talking specifically about Syndicate. But each time you tier your Mantis, you will be able to get Syndicate XP from that, which is massively, massively helpful. Other ways to get Syndicate XP. So there is a Bajoran favor. So let's go back into our faction store and let's go into the Bajoran. And then we can pull up the Bajoran favors from down the side here. And what we can see is if we go to, I think it's called Profit's Edge, Profit's Gift. So Profit's Gift adds a daily claim, uh, a daily gold chest with Syndicate XP and Bajoran Reputation. Sorry, Bajoran Badges. Nice. So what that means is that in your final chest of your dailies, I haven't claimed mine today so that we can look at this. If we look in here, look, you're normally, you only got 260 points that you need to claim to complete your dailies. What that favor does is it adds a further milestone here, this 270 point box from your dailies, paying out 500 Syndicate XP and 100 Bajoran badges. It's again another source of it. So a really key favor for you to go for in your Bajoran loop to help speed up your syndicate acquisition. The other way to do it. So you can actually get this in one of the latest additions to the game. You can get this in the Section 31 store. So the Section 31 faction store actually has a claim here. And you can see here for me getting 3000 syndicate XP, which is nothing to sniff at, cost you 2240 of your Section 31 credits. So again, if you're really going for it, you could pull that every single day and get a nice drip from that as well. So while we're into the faction store, we can also go into our X Borg faction store. The X Borg faction store, as you can see here, here, I've got a Syndicate XP claim, which refreshes in one hour and 35 minutes. So one hour, 35 minutes, I'd be able to get 1200 Syndicate XP. Now, where did I get that from? We got that from the new Temporal Artifacts. So the new Temporal Artifacts, which you can see when you go into your Artifacts menu and into Temporal Restorations, the one that you're looking for to get that 1200 is called the Stone of Memory. Now, the Stone of Memory is a rare shard, and this is what I recommend anybody starting off with Temporal artifacts goes for first now you unlock this first start getting your daily drip of syndicate xp and then go back to the great eye of ara to make all of your other artifacts cheaper but i think the 1200 syndicate xp bump for just level one of this artifact is so valuable for speeding up that loop that you should go for that first so you're getting that additional one there now the other one which is not quite as guaranteed the other way for you to source your um syndicate xp is through battle passes now this is sometimes available in the standard ba battle pass you can also see perfect timing look events so we've just got 755 syndicate xp in the recent xborg researcher solo leaderboard so events sometimes pay them but then the other way for you to look at doing it is in the battle pass now obviously we have three different battle passes and the flash pass is a very very good source of syndicate xp so like if we go in here and we look at their milestone two of the flash pass the free track we're getting 2200 now i don't think there is any more oh there is 3000 there in milestone four I definitely don't think there's any more after that. Nope. But then in the paid track, in the £10 slash $10, whatever currency conversion that you want to use, there is another 7,400 Syndicate XP down there as well, which I think is massive. So a good one from the Battle Pass. You also get them from your standard Battle Pass. They pay that when our arcs are running. So there's some Syndicate XP in there. The Season Passes. So the Season Pass, like the Territory Capture Season Pass, this has some decent chunks in here. So we can see here on the free track, there's 3,000 there uh, i don't know if there's any more up here in this uh, bundle i'm not sure there is and then in the paid track down here there's twenty-two thousand there which is massive and um, there's another seven and a half thousand there so you can get it from that pass you can also get it from your wave defense pass i think the wave defense pass also has some so there's some there in the paid track there's some there in the free track so there are there are definitely don't not engage with these flash passes or these uh, additional season passes because the rewards that you get from the mail look a little bit meh 
may look a little bit rubbish, but that Syndicate XP is valuable. I mean, when you think this is like another sort of half a day's worth of syndicate xp for me so it's speeding up everything and these will build up this is not a sprint this is an absolutely a marathon when you're trying to work with your syndicate xp so don't forget obviously to try and get it at every single opportunity that you can now let's talk about some paid methods to do this so there are primes so there are primes now do i hugely recommend the primes no i do not i will throw that caveat out there straight away but if you go into your galaxy tree, you can see that there is Prime Syndicate XP. Prime Syndicate XP increases the amount of Syndicate XP gained from the daily chest. So the daily chest is the one that you claim from where you can actually see what Syndicate level that you are. So for me, that would be 750. And it's giving that a 100% boost. And this is £100 or equivalent in your currency. Throw that caveat in there. Um, so it'd be taking up to 1500 Now, is this valuable in today's game? No, it's not. I'm telling you now. Do not spend money on this. It is not worth it for that. Based on, you'd be better spending it on on a mantis upgrade pack and getting more out of it there do you know what I mean it, it just isn't worth it it's just not worth it for you or for anybody in my opinion for you to be doing that for your syndicate xp grind obviously the other way to do it is you can use multi-phasic credits so multi-phasic credits which are used when you use the pay store so if you use the pay store in game um on the pc version or if you use the web store which you can access on an ios device or uh, an android device or any device actually you just log on to a browser log on to star trek fleet command.com and if you buy packs through that store you will get awarded these multi-phasic credits and the multi-phasic credits you can then take now, I bank mine up for a long time. I'm waiting to spend all mine at 60, so I've been banking them for a long time. <laughs> so if you go into your multi-phasic store, uh, there is a syndicate booster. Now, this has had not much love over the years. You can see we're getting 570 per chest. Uh, and obviously, I can look at this. It's 1,500 for three chests in my multi-phasic. So what can I open? I can open 70 chests. So I could get 70 times 500. So I could get, what, about 35,000 syndicate XP if I really wanted to uh, by buying this bundle. So this is another way for you to access syndicate syndicate xp so that's all of the ways to get it and um, i've shown you some of the things that i think are super super valuable uh, within that now when you do get into the really higher echelons there are two other things that i haven't mentioned so the agamus shards agamus shards is a fantastic piece of forbidden tech uh, which you start to unlock from uh, level 36 so there's no additional officer being added when they did this most recent expansion of syndicate they've done that for a forbidden tech shards and then once you get to syndicate level 40 you get this which is massive a fleet commander slot so that you can crew yet another free to play fleet commander now i will caveat that i have never spent money on syndicate xp i've never even used multi physics on syndicate xp so this is just literally from day one of syndicate launching i was playing the game then but in mind i'm a day one player and claiming it every day and using these tools to plow towards it that's how i've managed to get to level 33 but level 40 is a huge one there obviously bumping up and getting that extra fleet commander slot which can be massively helpful obviously there's the forbidden tech gift as well where you're getting tear up catalyst proto matter and there's a forbidden tech gift in every single level once you get past level 35 so really really impressive really really happy obviously there's some avatars frames for you people out there that like that sort of thing and the maximum syndicate level now is syndicate level 45 now i don't know anybody that's there are you there have you got a friend that's there send me a screenshot prove to me that you have absolutely nailed syndicate and that you've finished level 45 i'd be really interested to know if anybody has done that so far now next thing we'll talk about is how we actually um calculate where we are towards the next level and as always in this fantastic stfc community we've had a volunteer that's created a chart for it so shout out to our one and only Silvus. let's pull up his chart and let's take a quick look at it now, this chat can be accessed from our Discord in the Blue and Jewels STFC chat section. If you're not a member of our Discord, please, please, please check out the link below and join that. Join a fantastic community over there where you can ask questions and access pretty much every single chat that's been created for the game by the most wonderful Blue uh, Blue Mandalorian, Jules Verne, Silvus, and some other fantastic um, contributors, Quasal, etc. Um, please, please, please join our Discord uh, where you can access all of these charts. Now, this specific chat is a create a copy version, which means that when you first click to open, it you will need to make a copy of this spreadsheet for you to be able to access it and here we go by silvers with help from deja shout out deja i don't want to miss you out i don't want to not give anybody any raps for that so first thing we need to do when we're looking at this on the intro page there is we need to tell it if we've got any primes so prime syndicate xp and obviously the syndicate spike as well so syndicate spike i didn't mention but this is a 400 percent increase to that um that base value so that's not too bad that's not too bad I still don't think this is something that you really, really want to go for. Total number of days from Syndicate 21 to 24, 68. Now, this is going to come into 
um, play in a moment when I explain obviously what we're going to put in. But what else have we got in this chart? So level by level comparison. So you can see, obviously, you can see what's on stfc.space, but you can also see how the different percentages progress as you move through and what bonuses, etc., that you're going to be able to get. And this is all ops, re uh, ops related as well. Obviously, when we're looking at stats, because one thing that they did do right with Syndicate, I didn't mention this before. One thing they did did right with Syndicate was that they actually gauged these for different ops segments. So you can see here, I'm getting a 45% repair cost efficiency. That's because I'm in the 51 to 60 bracket. If I was in the 30 to 39 bracket, I would only be getting a 20% repair cost efficiency. So as you go up into the different generations of the game, so G2, G3, G4, G5, G6, these syndicate will get even better for you. So even the early levels provide you with benefit as you progress up in ops level, which is absolutely massive. And these will change as well. Syndicate bonus descriptions, so basically explaining to you what each of the individual ones do. I think this is a nice little handy key for you. If you're wondering, well, what does that actually mean? You can see that on there. Uh, added syndicate sourcing. So here you can see the maximum uh, Mantis tiers. So you can see what all the different chests are. So you can see if you've got a tier one Mantis, you're going to get 1500 per chest, tier two, tier three. So you can see what that pays out for you, what you get in terms of syndicate for different section 31 reputation levels. So you can see you need to be agent to start get seeing that bundle that i showed you but then it's three thousand all the way through so you don't need to progress your section 31 reputation past agent if all you care about is syndicate interesting Pro profits gift was the bajoran favor again this only has one option one unlock it's 500 a day and it's that till the rest of time and then the stone of memory which is the new art temporal artifact that was launched that i was talking to you about, about before and this is the reason why i said make sure that you get level one because the big punch look is in level one 1200 gets level two level three it's only like uh, another 250 you may as well make that cheaper by going for the great eye of ara once you have unlocked the stone of memory now it's 3400 syndicate nice at level 12 yes it is but that's damn expensive so let's focus on the great eye of ara and then obviously make that even cheaper for you to be able to get to eventually but where's the power and the magic in this chart this is it in the syndicate calculator so in here this is where you're going to put in your individual stuff uh, for your particular account so my current syndicate level my current syndicate level is syndicate level 33 my target syndicate level so i want to see how long will it take me to get to syndicate 35 because that's like the next major threshold for me my mantis tier is tier 11 number of chests from the mantis refinery i always double pull this uh, Bajoran gift yes I do my section reputation is agent but what I'm thinking here is I don't pull that chest so if you don't pull the agent chest what I'm going to do I'm going to actually go to not unlocked so it doesn't factor that into my calculations number of syndicate ch oh no sorry. he's done it he's so good isn't he is so good so i am an agent and we are going to leave that at zero because i don't particularly pull that my stone of memory is level one so we pull that every single day do we have prime syndicate xp no we don't do we have syndicate spike no we do not my ops range is 51 to 60 so then what i can see here the number of days for me to go from level 33 to syndicate level 35 will based on these figures is 97 days and well call it 98 days it's going to take me about three months yeah it's going to take me about three months now the other thing that you need to do is you need to also type in your progress towards the current level so up here in this box enter remaining syndicate xp so this is what you have left towards your next level so for me in game that's how much have i got before i get to syndicate 34 so i need 121,300. so 121,300. took it down 80 days it's going to take me 80 days 80 days for me to get to syndicate level 35 now remember this doesn't factor in things like battle passes season passes flash passes all of that that stuff is extra so what this is telling me basically is this is the maximum number of days this is the maximum number of days that i will be able to do that's massive and if you can look down here what this is doing as well is it's showing you what would you get so anything in red is showing you something that would change so i would go from syndicate xp daily um in the just in the base pack where you see your syndicate levels the major initial claim goes from 750 up to 1200 grush shards i, I wouldn't get any grush shards so that that that's not there mavery shards i'm going to have finished mavery by the time that i get to level 35 so that wouldn't be there presets no more presets freak commander slots unlocked i need to talk to you about this because we haven't got 11 fr uh, fleet commander unlocks so that's maybe not quite right <laughs> you get one at 30 and one at 40 uh, sorry 
you know you only get the one at 40 the other ways to get them unlocked is you get one unlocked for free anyway and the other one is from your command center building get your command center to level, to level 40 so i need to talk to you about what's going on with that but please just ignore that but again you can see where all the boosts are in terms of your attack stats protected cargo things like that uh obviously daily goal rewards they go up to 12 times from 9x where they are now uh faction's going to go from 2 to 2.25 so you can see what that would do for you and obviously it's calculating how long it will take you to get there not factoring in events or battle passes now i think this is a fantastic sheet and everybody should get all over this you can see that the data input is relatively quick it took me what a minute just to sit and put my ops level in and my syndicate level and that sort of sort of thing nice and simple it's really really straightforward and easy to use and everybody should do it and i will put a link to this particular chart down in the description below but the best place for you to get the most up, up to date one is not going to be on this video it's going to be from our discord which like i've said the link to that is down below as well because the guys keep these charts updated and the best place to get your updated charts is on the stfc officer tool a discord channel it's the only place where jewels and blue keep them 100 up to date and it feeds out to other servers from there so that's the best place for you to go where you are now thank you so much for watching for all this time i think you will all agree with me that syndicate was a fantastic addition to the game i think it's absolutely amazing it's got some fantastic bonuses in there and everybody if you are not focusing on it should be focusing on it because i think it's absolutely brilliant if you haven't already please press the subscribe button press the like button as well if you like this video leave any comments down below thanks silvers for his work uh, that he's done putting this together and obviously deja as well i think it's absolutely brilliant these guys give up the time to try and make our lives in stfc a little bit easier check out our merch store it's lube.com you can get all your lube merch there all your wave defense mouse pads all that sort of thing if you do wish to but thank you so much for watching and remember guys that everything is better with lube take care and have a wonderful day